the Wii Sports Resort can do to expand a Wii U space that Wii Sport hasn't done all that. Well, I think, you know, Wii Sports Resort uh, in particular, and of course Wii Motion Plus, are really going to serve two purposes for us. Um, number one, Wii Motion Plus adds a great deal more precision to the gameplay oh. control. And what that means is that the, the Wii user who has played a video game for the first time with Wii Sports Resort, uh, or not with Wii Sports Resort, but with the original recent Wii Sports, is hopefully going to pick up Wii Sports Resort, um, get an idea of what that more precise control is, and get an understanding of the type of deeper gameplay experiences that longtime gamers have been enjoying for years are really all about. Um, and hopefully then we'll be able to watch them kind of slowly graduate from, from Wii Sports to Wii Sports Resort, and then hopefully on to the Mario's and Zelda's uh, and the other games that we always continue to make. You know, I think, well, the, the, the second thing that I really see Wii Sports Resort doing is, um, obviously it's a great social game, just like the original, uh, but what's different this time around is the development team has put a great deal of effort into creating a very strong single-player mode uh, really for all the sports. Uh, it's able to do that, of course, through the additional precision controls there's also a number of different uh, modes hidden throughout the game. Uh, more than beyond the ones you see on the menu, there's, there's an 11 point table tennis game that you can unlock. Uh, so, so, a, so there's some lockable modes in addition to the off the, the lockable lockable modes. modes. Yeah. Uh, and there's there's no, there's you know probably close to two dozen different kind of little Easter eggs or hidden modes and things like that. So. Yeah, like I know I've heard in the archery there's like a, oh, a two to three, that's it for Austin. Awesome. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and you were, what, what, what exactly is your role with Nintendo of America? Well, I've been with uh, Nintendo for, for over 10 years. I uh, spent a good deal of that time in the localization group, uh, localizing the games. Um, now I'm a product manager uh, in the product marketing group, uh, which means I work closely with the developers and our marketing teams on, uh, on both working on the games and working with them on, on marketing the games. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a, it's a nice fun role. Essentially means I have to know all there is to know about all the products, which is a spectacular job. <laughs> Not bad. Um, as far as the localization goes, with Wii Sports Resort, was there anything necessarily tricky about it? I mean, not that you work directly with that, but from your experience, is there anything tricky about having like the game collection that Wii Sports Resort is? Well, no. There's always, you know, the localization team. You know, I feel they're a really, really strong team. Of course, I've got a personal bias towards them, but uh, you know, they're always looking at things. Game like this, a lot of the little things that come up are, All right, you know, are we going to do the, this mode? Is it going to be in meters or is it going to be in feet or yards? Or, you know, it's really all about the measurements with something like a sports game. Uh, but, you know, it's nothing that they're not unfamiliar with. All right, thank you guys very much. So, um, when the, uh, like the, the June numbers came out for Wii Motion Plus, are you at all surprised by how well it sold and with the bundle with Tiger Woods as well? Well, I mean, obviously, I think the Tiger Woods game was, was phenomenal. Yeah, you know, we, we played the Treehouse, and people were really impressed by it. Uh, I think the development team did a great job on that. And, of course, we're really happy to see uh, to see that game doing as well as it is. Um, it's obviously been a big pusher of Wii Motion Plus for us, but, of course, the standalone unit has been selling, selling uh, some pretty strong numbers as well, and I think that that's partly people who want an additional unit for Tiger Woods. Uh, we're also hearing some... Uh, uh, anecdotal evidence that it may be people trying to get them in advance uh, so they're ready when Wii Sports Resort arrives. So very well. That's the whole thing. All goes well. That's the whole thing. Um, besides, like, uh, Ubisoft, the 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 Ubisoft, well, you know, the development kit's around, so I'm sure all the developers are looking at what they can do with it. It's really, uh, you know, whether or not they implement Wii Motion Plus is more of a creative decision on the development side. Um, and the last thing that we want to do is try to push people to implement it into games where it's not appropriate. Um, that being said, you know, I'm sure that we're going to be seeing a number of additional uh, third-party titles. We have, of course, our, the, our own titles that we're working on. Typically, we won't, you know, really talk much about them. Said, of course, Mr. Miyamoto did mention at E3 that the next Zelda game for Wii is going to be Wii Motion Plus compatible. So I'm sure that you can, uh, I, 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 was, I was at the, uh, like the round table or whatever you want to call it. Um, I recall him, or at least the, the translator, saying that 
it might be, depending on how eSports Resort does, does. Is that, is it still a maybe or is it a definite? Uh, in separate interviews, he, he said it was uh, probably a definite, so yeah. I think, uh, you know, obviously games that are in development can change, but I think right now the goal is for it to be motion plus compatible. I'm sure we'll see something more about that next week, right? or I can hope early, but I doubt that will happen. Anything else? Like you said, you're, you know, there's not really anything that they don't want to talk about about motion plus, but I think there's a stable of games that are being worked on. Well, you know, we've always we always have a number of different games in development. Um, there was another one that we showed off at E3 that was motion plus compatible. Yeah, it was a fan smasher game. Uh, we haven't made any decisions on, on launch timing or anything for that game. Is that here definitely in North coming to North America or is that still up in the air? You know, until we until we've announced anything, it's, it's still hard to say. But uh, so the fact that it made an appearance at E3 is not guaranteed. Uh, no, yeah, it doesn't guarantee it, but it's not. It's that's certainly that's not that's a bad sign. <laughs> Um, and let's see. Do you think that uh, Slee Motion Plus has the potential to have a larger install base than the balance board, which is already, I think, sold? Or there's been more balance boards sold than there have been PlayStation 3s or something along those lines? You know, that's a very, that's a very difficult question. It's, uh, I think we'll, it's be, we'll be watching. Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll be watching very closely as, uh, as the game launches this week uh, to see how it does, and of course as, uh, as some of the initial titles launch later on. Um, and. Was it tough to come up with new kinds of games for Esports Resort, or was it natural? No, I mean, you know, the way that our development teams work is they always kind of start by focusing on the control experience. Uh, and so once they got the Wii Motion Plus accessory, uh, they got prototypes for that and began to experiment with what it was capable of. And then it was a matter of, of just figuring out, okay, well, if these are the types of movements it can do, you know, what sports do those movements relate to? Um, and I think it's pretty clear that they found a good collection of sports that, that translate very well to the Wii Motion Plus control and that translate really well to an interactive experience. And what would you say is a sporting event that shows off the most innovation in the sports resort? Or at least, what's, what's your favorite sport? You know, my personal, I've got kind of two personal favorites, and uh, it's, it's really archery and, uh, and table tennis. Uh, table tennis really more for the, uh, the competition than anything else. We've been yeah. having some pretty fierce... I, I think I've, I've heard stuff about how uh, the Treehouse guys have been pretty... Uh, yeah, it, it, it continues. I actually, I feel like being here this week, I, I'm missing out on some key opportunities to... Uh, <laughs> have learned more than you've ever had. That's right. But archery is another one I just love. I love the subtlety, you know, and a lot of motion controls up until now have been about very big, you know, fast motions. And I really like the idea of finding ways to take motion control and do these very subtle movements that require a great deal yeah, of precision. Yeah, I have noticed at least from playing both control, Game Speed 3 and both Tiger Woods and Grand Slam Tennis that like something like Tiger Woods where, you know, you can take your time with it is a lot better than something that's a lot quicker. Yeah. And archery, I, I haven't yet played it, but I can't wait to play it. So, yeah. It looks like it's going to be great. The other, one, the other one that's really great is Frisbee Golf. Is that, is that, I, I don't know that much about it. Is that similar to how it is in Tiger Woods? Or is it? Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a bit different. It essentially takes the, uh, the mechanic from uh, the Frisbee game in Wii Sports Resort and turns it into a full Frisbee golf. Yeah, I've heard like, you can even like, throw it from whatever way you want to. Whatever. Yeah, and there's, there's different sized discs that have different ranges, and it's, it's a pretty good representation of a uh, real life Frisbee golf game. Uh, I'm excited to play all of these. After this, I'll probably go to the Tender World Show tomorrow. There you go. Did you guys check out the uh, ad? Yeah, yeah. 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 we saw it over at the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, nice.